Hey everybody, Rick Orlando. We're gonna make two really quick, easy, amazing recipes using some crazy farmer's market stuff. Uh, point your camera down here. I went out to the farmer's market because I wanted a couple of little Thai chilies to make a dish and I ended up buying way too many. So I'm gonna show you how to make these last forever. We're gonna make Nam Pla Prick and Prick Nam Pla. Or is it Nam Plik Pla? Nam Pla Prick and Prick Nam Pla. Two sauces, they last forever. I have vintages going back to 2015. Let me show you how to do this. What we need to do is we need to remove the stems from these chilies and they're hot and you can use gloves if you want. I'm not going to because I'm crazy, but you probably should because you want to cut them into small little rings and it's going to take me a little while. So talk among yourselves and when you come back, we'll have a bunch of cut chilies for you and I'll show you how to make these sauces just like that. All right, that was fun. I didn't wear gloves, so I'm a little aglow, but I'm going to show you how to make two amazing hot sauces here now. Condiments. First, we're going to make our nam pla prick. That, to me, is as straightforward as it gets. So what I'm doing is I'm scooping a bunch of these chopped Thai chilies into a container, and I'm going to top them with fish sauce, and I don't need to go hardcore expensive like Red Boat. Lucky's good, Squid's good, Golden Boy, just a generic $3 bottle of fish sauce. You want to put the fish sauce in with your chilies. Okay. Fill that dog right up. Folks, give it about uh, two weeks and you have non pla prick. You can scoop out the chilies or just use the fish sauce. I happen to have a bottle here from 2015. I keep adding a little more fish sauce to it every once in a while and keep it alive. The next one we're gonna do is the same words in a different order, prick non pla. So we're gonna go again with the chilies, but we're gonna add a little more character to this one. So one is gonna be like just your delicious, salty, almost like Tabasco variation. And the other one, now, we're going to add some shallot and we wanna dice it nice and fine. And we're gonna add a nice half a shallot. It's a good size shallot there. A couple of cloves of garlic, just smashed. Gonna go right into the jar. And then we're gonna add the juice of a lime and a little bit of sugar and then our fish sauce. So this one will be a little more of a dressed up sauce. And the other one is just the purest of the purest of the most delicious, purest, yummy. And what I love to do with these, of course, is just put them on steamed vegetables, a little sugar, put them on rice. I love to just spoon a little bit of those chilies on rice, serve it with grilled fish, serve it with on the side with noodles. Okay, here's our squid brand. It's got the small holes, it's gonna take a minute, but you get the idea. We're just gonna fill this dog up. We got lime, shallots. Hold on. Now we're gonna to top our jar off. We got shallots, garlic, the chilies, obviously, the juice of a lime, and a couple of tablespoons of sugar. And we're adding to this a little heavier fish sauce. This is squid brand. And we're gonna fill this jar up and let this hang out. Again, about two weeks it'll be ready. About two months it'll be amazing. About two years it'll still be going. But the great thing about making these Thai chili fish sauce combos is that you can add a little more fish sauce as you deplete it and it's going to be delicious. So prick nam pla, nam pla prick. Let's give this one a shake. I see the sugar on the bottom. Two hot sauces, six dollars worth of Thai chilies. That's not even a pound. This will last us a year. Thanks for watching Rick. We want clean food and we want hot sauce.